hello there cancerians welcome back i hope you all are doing well today okay um thank you all for your love your support your donations and your super thanks cancer i am sending all that love and light back to you and your loved ones tenfold okay so let's tap in cancer let's see what's going on with my cancerians okay all right spirit guides angels ancestors ascended masters gods and goddesses please return any spell work any dark magic that is sent to harm cancer and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Cancerians. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Cancer. So the car said, congrats, Cancer. So you passed some sort of test. I feel like you have a lot of good things coming in for you. Yeah, changes at a soul level and baby fever and in the feels. Somebody here could be in their feelings about you having a baby. Or you could be purging and releasing. Maybe you're moody because you're pregnant. So congrats. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what's going on with cancer. Let's see. Somebody could be eating some popcorn. I don't know why I just heard popcorn. Let's see what's going on for cancer. Okay, so we have stress over money issues. Then we have a blessing, happiness, and love flutters. Hmm. And vacation. So you could be getting ready to take some time off work, cancer. Or if you, I don't know, maybe you just need a vacation. <laughs> you get ready to go take a vacation here. So, yeah, I feel like you have some blessings coming through here. I feel like you're happy, you're at peace. And I feel like... You have the lovey-dovey flutters for somebody. There, there could be somebody here you're in love with, with love flutters, while somebody else is stressed over money issues or spirit is trying to show you that there's a blessing in disguise here. Or there's a blessing even if you are not financially as, as stable as you want to be. There's still blessings here that you need to look at or see or realize. Yeah, taking trips and vacation, child. For some of you guys, you're definitely getting ready to go on a vacation. Some of y'all getting ready to like, yeah. You're definitely getting ready to go on a vacation. What's a blessing here? Betrayal? Yeah, something was a blessing in disguise about this betrayal. It sounds crazy, but... Okay, yeah, bisexual, same sex, off limits, and taking trips. Somebody here could be trying to get away, or they're running away from the, their true selves. But somebody could be trying to get away because something could be getting out about them being bisexual or into the same sex. What's love flutter, child? I miss you. What's love flutter with I miss you? <clears throat> Expect a conversation. So somebody here could be trying to reach out to you because they miss you. They're trying to make you feel, maybe they're trying to make you feel something for them before they reach out. <laughs> but they betrayed you. But I feel like you're already experiencing blessings here. Or they want to be a part of whatever blessings you have because they're stressed over money. And I feel like I would be ignoring their fucking ass. What else? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, we have jail, restrictions, abuse, trapped. Elevating in my divinity, understanding the truth of it all on a deeper level. And we have trauma bond connection. Yeah, this is you understanding something about this betrayal that happened. You know something about a betrayal or you just know shit about something. You understand that uh, you trauma bonding with somebody helped you to grow spiritually in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion they were used to help elevate you spiritually. Or there could be a trauma bond connection here that they're in. They're stuck in a trauma bonding connection. What's this trauma bond connection? Yeah, time factor. What's the trauma bond connection? Never understand. So there could be something, Cancer, that you were trying to understand here about the divine timing of something. There was something that you had to do first or, yeah, or you never understood why you keep ending up in trauma bonding connections you were elevating. It was taking time. So something definitely came about in divine timing or you're trying to figure out why something is not coming about now. It's because you're still healing from something or you still have a soul tie with somebody that needs to heal. For some of you, somebody's in a trauma bonding connection with someone else. 
and um they had a certain amount of time to do something to you or do something and i feel like it's not it hasn't worked because you elevated yeah transformation and healing exactly what's this elevating in my divinity somebody here try to time something or do something out of your ass in jail yeah not bothered <laughs> friends family third party influences are present yeah spiritual intervention exactly exactly what else so i feel like you're unbothered you don't you don't give a fuck yeah ghosting Sorry. <laughs> and pointing the finger. Somebody is a sorry ass. That's what the fuck they sorry about. What's the sorry? <clears throat> I'm feeling regret. What's pointing the finger? Struggle, challenge. Somebody is still not taking accountability for something. They're trying to point the finger at you. <clears throat> or people are pointing the finger at this person that's feeling regret. Because now there's people that are struggling. There's challenges. What's this point in the finger with struggle challenge? <laughs> yeah, so in love. An offer, endings, rejection, block, chasing love, love, birds, brick wall, masculine, evolving, peace and happiness, locked in, real love, trust, changes at a soul level, baby fever. Yeah, for some of you guys, you've been ready to go on and have a baby with somebody, child. <laughs> somebody here blaming you for some shit but behind the scenes they're feeling regret whoever this is is a pussy ass coward i'm sick of hearing about this fucking person because i feel like this is something about them something that's going on in their life is their fault but they're trying to point the finger or trying to find somebody else to blame instead of blaming their fucking self somebody here is mad they're like yeah well if they're trying to tap into your energy or get into your energetic field they're mad they're like yeah the reason why we're struggling or whatever the fuck is because we cannot get energy from cancer they're so in love they're in a relationship their energy is balanced out now now everything is, is your fault like if we was able to pull from cancer's energy again we would be able to have something now they just ghost in the whole situation because they look dumb But secretly they feel in regret or secretly they feel some kind of way. And, and openly, we don't give a fuck. So, <laughs> ain't nothing a secret over here, really. I feel like somebody full of shit. So we have the four wands in the reverse. Yeah, Cancer. I mean, uh, Aries, Venus. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Feminine. So this Queen of Swords in reverse is a liar. I feel like this person is mad or they're bitter about losing their home. Or somebody here could be trying to kick somebody out of a community. This Queen of Swords could be getting kicked out of a community. Or somebody's all of a sudden, sudden jilting a community, jilting a home. Somebody has jilted someone that's bitter. This could be somebody's mother that somebody has left and walked away from. But yeah, this is a canceled celebration or a canceled event with the four of wands in reverse or some sort of karmic contract is over. There's a lot of chaos and argument going on in the home too. It's dysfunctional as fuck. Or somebody losing their fucking home. Yeah, look, the hermit and the hermit with the four of pentacles reversed. So somebody is secretly trying to steal something or They're losing stuff. This is like somebody losing possessions or losing materials and assets or whatever the fuck. Child, what's the stress over money issues? Somebody here could be homeless. With this betrayal and blessings and Yeah, the judgment. Yeah, it's time for you to be vindicated from something cancer, just period. Yeah, so I feel like this is a renewal period for you here or you're going through some sort of awakening with the judgment. Aries Leo said, we got Scorpio here. So you're going into your purpose. This is self-awareness. You're not doubting your decisions here. You're calling judgment on something. Okay, yeah, the, ten of, the two of cups in reverse. <clears throat> so you could be cutting a cord to somebody that you were once attached to or once in a relationship with or um, this karmic couple here could be going through some sort of karma. They're getting an awakening of their, of their damn life. 
But in order for you to fulfill your purpose, Cancer, there's a need for you to maybe cut the cord with a karmic soulmate, somebody here that abused you or y'all were just incompatible or whatever. But there, there's been a breakup or something. Yeah, three of swords. There's been some sort of breakup. What's judgment? Or oh, this is on a soul level. Something is just over between you and somebody. Four of swords in reverse, Libra, Jupiter. So yeah, an awakening. Mm. An awakening. You finding that mental strength again. You rejoin, rejoining the world again. With the four of swords in reverse. Yeah, what's the judgment with the four swords in reverse? I feel like you could be healing from something, Cancer. Okay, the seven of pentacles in reverse, ten of swords. I mean, ten of wands. So I feel like somebody here, this could be like somebody having a lack of faith, a lack of hope. They're extremely overwhelmed or or um, somebody here could be, re could be refusing to be hospitalized too if they need help or if they're sick. The seven of pentacles in reverse is a lack of growth or something here not being nurtured. Somebody could be sick and someone is not nurturing them or taking care of them or they don't have nobody around to do so. But the seven of pentacles in reverse is a lack of evaluation too on self, at self, or somebody has signed some sort of bad contract that's not growing or whatever. This could be too like a change of plans. Maybe maybe there's something that you changed or switched because you wasn't seeing growth in one area or you wasn't seeing growth. So you're like, okay, let me try it a different way. And it brought about some sort of awakening or whatever. But I feel like this is a bad investment with the seven of pentacles reverse. What's, what's this? Or something is frustrating or there's a lot of delays and setbacks and things being postponed. Yeah, the seven of cups in reverse, Scorpio, Venus. We got Taurus, Saturn. So somebody invested into some sort of get rich quick scheme that didn't go nowhere, it didn't grow, it didn't do anything. Somebody here missed out on a lot when they could have just left you alone or whatever this is. Mm-hmm. This could be somebody, somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Somebody could be trying to sober up or they're, they're realizing that they need to sober up and stop doing what they're doing. Somebody needs help. And I feel like maybe they're realizing that they do. Yeah, with Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, which is good. Yeah, look, the Hermit, somebody's doing some introspection on themselves. They're looking at themselves. They're probably looking at all the shit and mess that they didn't got themselves caught up into. So now they, they now they're trying to do some reflection, or now they in for a big ass rude awakening, and they're hiding, they're ghosting the situation. Somebody is hiding or trying to back out of something because it, it didn't grow at all. What's this hermit? Somebody here missed an opportunity. Yeah, somebody missed an opportunity. Whoever, this person could be very superficial and greedy too. They're trapped somewhere. What's the harmony? They're, yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Taurus Moon. So equal give and take, reciprocity or gifts. A gift being given to you or somebody needs help. Somebody wants you to be generous or they want you to share. Okay, yeah, so somebody missed an opportunity to take something from you or get something from you or, or whatever because you're already getting ready to step into your purpose. It's like you've already elevated or you already had a truth. Ace of Swords. It's like somebody was trying to do some sort of get rich quick scheme or, or something like that in your energy. And I feel like they didn't get shit. It they, they, they didn't work. So what's the, yeah, what's the Four of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Hierophant. What's four swords reverse with the higher thing? Taurus and the death card. Wow, so Taurus, Scorpio here. Yeah, sister signs, Taurus and Scorpio's sister signs. So there's a death and a rebirth here that's happening, a very deep transformation. This higher thing could be a high priest or um a high ranking uh person. Somebody's high ranked spiritually. This could be a for some of you, this higher thing is, is a twin of yours. Yeah, this, this shit is already done. It's said and done, honey. This Somebody is too late for whatever this is. Because mm -hmm. something is ending. Something is transforming already. It's over. It's done. Somebody already made the changes or they're making changes and things like that.
get this higher pin with the death card and the four sword in reverse this yeah whoever this is right here could be going through an awakening for some of you this hermit energy um could be actually maybe this is your masculine or this is you cancer doing some sort of shadow work like it's a really deep transformation okay this has something to do with somebody's worth and their money their value but this heart this hermit with the six of pentacles and the seven of cups reverse seven of pentacles in reverse could be somebody that uh thought they was gonna get something from someone and it, it's just not gonna work or they thought they was gonna get you back it, it just didn't work you didn't already transformed and, and met somebody else or whatever it's like what's two of cups reverse the page of wands and the page of cups <laughs> upright so I feel like there's some sort of predictable behavior here with the page of wands in reverse. Somebody's not doing their shadow work. They're not doing their inner child healing. This could be like a relationship or some sort of connection here that you idolized. You predicted that somebody was going back to somebody and they did is what I just heard too. So I, I feel like somebody wants to come and apologize to you or wants to make your feelings flutter again. They want to give you this little dreamy energy, but I feel like it's some bullshit. This is predictable behavior from somebody. All they want to do is come back in and, and get on your nerves or be like, yeah, you know, I want to do this, but they're not going to ever do it. That's what this is. So I feel like this soul tie is, 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 is over with or this person, they're going through a breakup somewhere. They're going through a breakup somewhere. And now they want to come in. I feel like it's a no. Yeah, I feel like you didn't already let this person go. Yeah, somebody here, somebody, yeah, your counterpart with the high priestess and the knight of swords. That's that higher thing right there. This king of wands, they they just too late. <laughs> it's like they did this. This is a catalyst person, anyways. The high priestess with the higher thing, I definitely am seeing that that's a twin of yours. This masculine ain't playing about you too, because they're making changes in their life to better themselves so they can be with you. Somebody else waited too fucking late. Or, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's too late for that shit. So, moving on. You started... Uh, some Somebody did something that was predictable. Or, like, they always did it. So, it's like you expect some sort, some sort of behavior from someone. <laughs> it's very predictable. They come in and they, they, they sweet talk you or whatever. And then it never goes nowhere. Y'all just incompatible. I feel like you realize that and you're calling judgment on it because you don't want to be bothered. And I feel like they was with somebody else anyways. So what else? Jail restrictions, elevating my divinity, not bothered, time factor, never understands, and trauma bonding. The king of pentacles. And the six of cups. Scorpio with the with the six of cups or uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So there could be somebody here from your past. Obviously, somebody's like thinking about you, but they could be married. This King of Pentacles here could be married. I feel like they're still very childish or they just miss you. What's the King of Pentacles? Let me see. Or this King of Pentacles is your person. Ace of Swords, yeah, this is like truth or clarity. Maybe the truth is coming out that somebody is married. But um, the Ace of Swords is you making the right decision. There's going to be a breakthrough too with somebody's finances. This King of Pentacles could be somebody that's actually devoted to you. They're loyal. They're kind. They're generous. They they invest. They don't like temporary relationships. They like long-term stability. This person could be brainstorming new ideas for a project or a business venture or whatever. Yeah, and whoever this Knight of Wands is to a sword, somebody's still confused. They don't know what the fuck they want. Their heart chakra is blocked. Don't nobody got time for that shit. The audacity of you bitches to think that you can still come back and do this. And somebody has grown into the Empress and the Ten of Cups. They have completely found themselves and found their partner too. While they're at it, like, please. What's the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords? Y'all know this is crazy. Yeah, the magician. Yeah, somebody is a powerful manifester. They have a strong mind with the magician and the ace of swords. I feel like they're very stern with the, how they communicate. Like, they mean business. This person just has all the qualities I feel like that you would want in a person. And they completely helped you heal, help you move on from this past shit. 
Yeah, I, I just feel like it's it's too late, honey. <laughs> Move on. So yeah. There's definitely something brewing and manifesting here. I feel like your mind is in the right place. This person's is. They want they they want stability. They want a family with you. They want to settle down. King of Pentacles down like nothing short term. What's the Six of Cups versus the King of Wands? Whenever this person don't get their way, wherever they at. Yeah, now the Queen of Wands showing up in the reverse. When the, when the King of Wands don't get their way, or when they feel like you're doing too much, or when they feel like you're, you're pressing them about a commitment, they're going to run for the heels. And you probably was pressing them about one because at the end of the day, bitch, don't come over here not looking for one. What the fuck do you want? Either you going to commit or you going to get the fuck on down the road, bitch. And I feel like you kicked their ass to the damn curb. And then I feel like they lied about a bitch. So, okay. What's this damn Six of Cups? Somebody here do too much. They play too many fucking games. I can't stand people like this. Yeah, the strength card. So, yeah, this is you overcoming challenges and obstacles, feeling confident, feeling more secure, having a high self-esteem. You can have Leo in your chart. I'm just getting like this playful energy. Somebody here, Leo is a very playful sign. That's the fifth house. Leo rules the heart too, huh? So, yeah, somebody here just makes your heart flutter. Yeah, I say love flutters. Somebody here makes you feel like a child again they bring youthfulness and and carefree attitude back to your life like yeah the ten of cups they just really com you complete yourself you have grown into the empress by yourself but i feel like you found somebody that truly truly just adds on to this completeness like you know what i mean somebody here play too much i feel like they're just a little bit too late all this emotionally insecure and and emotionally emotionally unavailable bullshit it's like bitch please what's the six of cups with the strength just period yeah three of wands exactly so three of wands is is a sense of foresight knowing where you want to go feeling confident about moving forward there could be something here incoming uh cancer But this is you growing. This is something about expanding, growing. Some of you guys are expanding a family. You're expanding here. You could be having a baby. You've conceived. So congrats for some of you. That keep coming out too. I can't help it. Yeah, look, the in-person Ten of Cups keeps showing up. I mean, what the fuck? So. Maybe you were supposed to be with that person at one point, but I feel like if you were supposed to, they would be around. Like, it's, somebody here lost their damn way. So, oh well. What's What else? Let's see. What's this ghost in here with the sorry and feeling regret and pointing the finger and struggles, challenges, and blah, blah, blah. The fuck? Yeah, the Five of Swords. Aquarius, Venus, and the Two of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Mars. The Emperor in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. Then we have the Ten of Cups and the damn Empress upright. <laughs> your weird ass fallen twin, your weird ass ratchet ass baby daddy that's burdened or stressed the fuck out because they need to grow the fuck up. Somebody here too busy trying to abuse their power and control you. It's like, bitch, you don't have no control over your life. You like structure, you like discipline, you like focus. You cannot be the one. And that's just period. That's just fucking period. So it is what the fuck it is. Two of Wands in reverse is restricted options or a lack of planning. Somebody's plans fell through or whatever. Somebody here trying to win at all costs or trying to bully somebody or... For some of you, this is you standing up for yourself. Or you fighting back is making somebody feel like intimidated. Let me see. What's Five of Swords? Yeah, the King of Swords in reverse. What's Five of Swords, King of Swords in reverse? The devil, child, please. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the and the devil. Capricorn. So yeah, I feel like somebody has addictions or they're addicted to you or they're just fucking toxic. Very controlling, very, very fucking controlling. And they thought they was gonna win something at all costs. I feel like this person is scared to be their true authentic self. They have a lot of toxic attachments. And the five of swords could be probably you standing up for yourself or fighting back or somebody's way more stronger than this damn king of swords in the fucking reverse. There are nobody. What's the king of swords reverse? Yeah, 
Yeah, the nine of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Somebody here that's, that will exploit you. Any chance that they fucking get. Somebody here likes when you're codependent on them. Or they like they like gold digging holes. Or they like to go fuck around that way. So I feel like you let them. They, didn't want to, they, they blamed it on you because I feel like they were doing something to you. And now they can't do it no more. So now it's like, yeah, it's your fault that I'm in, in this shit, bitch. It's your damn fault that you're fucked up. The fuck are you talking about? What's this damn King of Swords in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Or they, they blaming a gold digger that they got with. Somebody can't stand up to a gold digger. They can't stand up to somebody here that's scamming them or whatever. What's King of Swords in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse? This could also be too. Somebody here has cursed your womb or they, they did something here to your reproductive system. That keep coming out too. So the tower, this this is something here that's being revealed. If somebody is, is experiencing some sort of chaos and conflict, this is the divine intervening in this dumb shit. The divine is intervening in this. This What's this nine of pentacles reverse? Yeah, the five of wands. Somebody here could be very like abusive. And somebody here could have miscarried and, and, and lost a child because of somebody's abuse. Trigger warning. There's a lot of fighting and shit going on here. In a relationship with a karmic that they don't want to be with and... This and that. Somebody just going to take whatever lies this is to the damn grave. They don't give a fuck. What's the damn King of Souls in reverse? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Five of Wands. Yeah, the Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody could be... You guys could be saying 999. Yeah, for some of you, somebody, somebody did lose a child. Hmm. But this could be like chronic fatigue or somebody that can't defend themselves. Nine of Wands is a, a, like a lack of protection or somebody like giving up on something or I feel like somebody too is really stubborn. Like they're very rigid. They don't give a fuck. They're going to keep doing something. I feel like somebody's like abusing somebody. Hmm. Somebody's at a stalemate. They're frustrated. So there's a lot of fighting and shit. What's the tower? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. What's tower, Ace of Wands? The Ten of Wands in reverse. I feel like somebody too could be in competition with, with a man, with this, this divine masculine in your energy. And they're the last one standing. <laughs> Just period. But um, we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Wands. Somebody is trying to gain some sort of energy. It's like two men in the spirit or something fighting over your energy field, divine feminine. And this king of swords think they're going to get some shit. I feel like this this divine masculine tore that ass up, period. <laughs> to the swords in the reverse. I feel like this is you overcoming betrayals, hardships, or whatever was cursed here. Somebody here has cursed. Somebody has cursed you or did something to you. This is... Your vitality, your life force energy with the with the Ace of Wands or your sacral chakra, your sexual energy. Yeah. Somebody thought that they was going to let this person or or they thought that they was going to keep abusing you and taking from you when they needed help in, in the situation or when they needed savior. No, bitch. Yeah, the Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like they ass getting ready to go to court. This Queen of Swords is going to get ready to take their ass up, up on through that bitch right on the court. Okay, for some of you, somebody's trying to get away from something. Now they're trying to travel away or move away or whatever. It was like, this is a mess. What's the devil? Yeah, the King of Cups. What's the devil, King of Cups? Scorpio and the Fool, Aquarius. So this could either be a spirit guide or this could be um, somebody here in your energy that truly loves you. Yeah. Somebody here that's helping you break free of something. Or this King of Cups has break has broken free of some shit. This King of Cups has taken their power back in something and it's got the wheel turning. Yeah, something here happened. There's two masculines here. The fool is, is somebody here coming out of restrictions, being a trendsetter, doing doing something that's original. This is like a fun, loving energy too. They're very spontaneous or or just very fun. Yeah, and I feel like somebody here loves you. They they truly do care about you. While somebody else is trying to hook themselves onto you so they can get themselves out of some shit that they're in. 
No, bitch. What's the two of wands reverse? Yeah, the world in reverse. Yeah, something failed. Their options are fucking restricted. They're restricted from tapping into your energy, playing around in it, whatever. Now they're pointing the finger like, oh, you did it. Bitch, no, you the fuck did it. Or now they're saying, oh, this masculine did it. Bitch, and this masculine will beat your motherfucking ass. Just like how they beat you up in the spirit. They'll beat your ass again. And again and again and again. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. What's this Queen of Pentacles reverse? The Page of Swords. What's Queen of Pentacles reverse? Page of Swords. The Four of Wands. Yeah, look. Look at that ass trying to sneak away. They're like, yeah, let's move on to peaceful and calmer waters. Or somebody is trying to sneak away and go tell on somebody else that's still on some dumb shit. The other person getting ready, I don't know what they're getting ready to do, but I feel like they all just stupid as hell. Four of Wands, Page of Swords. Somebody here could be watching you on a platform. I'm definitely getting a married couple here. Two idiots together doing some ratchet ass shit with one another. So I feel like, yeah, you're being celebrated and you're also being watched heavily. There could be like a social climbing ass bitch online doing something here. And they failed at doing whatever the fuck it is that they're doing. They're going at it. This married couple, they're definitely going at it. They're pointing the finger at each other. Yeah, shit, that could be what it is too. They're going through some sort of struggle and challenge. And now I feel like they're going back and forth with each other. Because their little operation failed. Two of Wands in reverse. And they both restricted. Mm. And they're watching you celebrate or, or speak up against some sort of injustice on a platform for some of you. <laughs> okay good yeah i feel like somebody too somebody's running to court with some lies these two these two people they're not getting along at all they're not they 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 both are scheming against each other now with their raggedy fucking ass i feel like that's what the fuck they get that's what the hell you bitches get <laughs> like give me a card here one, one two three is on the clock So we have Parvati in the reverse. So that's the shadow of Parvati. Persephone in the reverse and the healer in the reverse, child. Okay, so let's see it all in the shadow aspect. Then we have direction, unpredictability, and blessings. <laughs> so let's see. So the key word for Parvati is determination. That's somebody I guess they don't have. So it says the symbols are tiger, mala bees, and trident. Your affirmation is I believe I can, so I do. So it says Parvati is the Hindu goddess of power. She is the... Fuck my shit just go off like that. She is the one who gives life energy or Shakti to all beings and without her, all are inert. She is the an animating force that brings skull, power, prowess, and genius while infusing, infusing the world with her magic. The goddess is Shakti herself. The goddess is Shakti herself, <laughs> um, who lives in all beings in the form of power. She has remarkable strength and determination. Without these, without these qualities, there will be no life. She is desire, determination, and devotion in, in action and partnership with life. She is also a goddess of family and love, and many people turn to her when they seek assistance with their marriage, parenting, and fertility. Hmm. Let me turn back on my thing. <laughs> like, because um, I just heard my printer. I don't know if it turned. Let me see. Why the fuck that shit go off like that? Okay, yeah. The fuck. Okay. 
The goddess Parvati, okay, that's a, okay, let me read the shadow meaning. There can be no positive flow of energy or any progress where there is fear. If Parvati has come to you in the shadow position, you may be stalling in life because you are afraid. Fear blocks your natural connection to the divine source. If you have been inactive or idle for a while, this is a call to action. Oh, damn, I just read, read the shadow meaning. Oh, because it was in the reverse. I just flipped it up right. Okay. Ciao. Fear blocks your natural connection to the divine source. If you have been inactive or idle for a while, this is a call to action. Any action will bring more energy to fuel your determination. Finally, you may be overly determined on something. Sometimes we have to realize that something is over or done. It may be time to move on, and it is. It is. Heal with Parvati. Name your fears around moving ahead so they lose their power. Meditate or do yoga to connect with the divine source. And go for a walk or jog to get the body moving and your energy pumping. Hmm. Persephone 167. The key word is adaptability. <laughs> Somebody here, they can't move. Somebody can't do something at a, or they can't do anything. Shit. The symbols are bat, pomegranate, and white lily, and your affirmation is I adapt to life's unexpected circumstances. Persephone is a Greek goddess and queen of the underworld. She is also the goddess of spring growth. While she lives half of the year in the underworld with her husband, Hades, her annual return brings spring with blooming flowers and wheat. Being both the goddess of the spring and queen of the underworld is quite a contraction that requires excellent adaptability. Despite the challenge of living in two worlds, she has risen to the challenge and has become a formidable goddess of the afterlife. So the shadow meaning it says if you pull Persephone in shadow, it means you are in denial and stuck in your ways. Perhaps you like the status quo and the way things have always been done. Or maybe you don't want to hear anyone else's opinions because you think your way is the best. But all of this shuts down innovation, creativity, and opportunity. You have an opportunity to learn and grow. It's time to see different perspectives. So it says, heal with Persephone. Get honest about your motivations and where you are close to new ideas. Try a new experience that will take you well out of your comfort zone like an improv class. And light a candle at the dark moon for the goddess of the underworld. Okay, then we have healing here with the healer in the reverse. Hmm. The key word is healing. The symbols are healing herbs, nature, bare feet on the ground, and your affirmation is I deserve to be healthy, thriving, and happy. Our healer is in her favorite place, her herb garden. She loves tending the various plants so she can use their magics and medicines when needed. She also finds the very act of tending to her garden healing in itself. She has a deep connection to her body and needs, strengthening her ability to connect and heal others. She is aware of how many different healing modalities can work to soothe and repair people's minds, bodies, and souls, and knows that healing is not a linear process. All wounds, illnesses, and diseases take different times and methods to heal. The healer's touch leaves people in places better than when she found them. Okay, so your shadow mini says, oh boy, someone has been on a bit of a destructive path lately. <laughs> if this is you, you are heading down a road that doesn't have a happy ending. It is never too late to make positive healing choices in your life. So start today. If this card represents someone in your life, remember to take care of yourself. You can not do something or you cannot do someone else's healing work for them. And love it doesn't mean you have to tie yourself to their sinking ship. If you can have a conversation with them about getting help and starting to heal, then this is a sign to do that. If it is dangerous, toxic or abusive, you need to get out now. Yeah, this this Queen of Pentacles right here in the reverse is realizing that maybe this king of swords is a damn is a devil and they're watching they could be watching you because you could be saying something maybe you're saying something out loud or somebody's like looking in their neck in their neighborhood for a particular person but i feel like they both evil though they both did nasty shit to you so but and now they're blaming each other i feel like oh okay what the fuck ever Healer, heal with the healer. Admit out loud to yourself and someone you trust that you are struggling and need help. Work with any sh any shame you have about your situation. Don't believe the negative self-talk. You are not alone, nor are you the first person to be where you are. And be clear about the boundaries in your relationships and life. 
because it may be time to get them back. Okay. Mm. Somebody here going to jail. Mm. Stressed over money issues, jail restrictions, and ghosting. Mm -mm. What's this? What's Parvati in the reverse? Inner strength, Leo. It says take charge, press charges, and file that complaint. Mm -mm. <laughs> somebody, yeah, somebody's abusive. Five of Swords. Uh oh. Somebody here going to jail for it could be domestic violence. Okay, um, composed ability to overcome challenges and build lasting connections, focus, fi financial fortitude, resilience, stand up for what you believe in, strength beyond measure, not giving up easily, unlike others. For some of you, this could be you where you had to you press charges on this person. You already did. And we have over, over idealism, ninth house, purpose, unrealistic ide idealization of distant cultures, belief systems may lead to disillusionment, rigid beliefs, dogmatic thinking and closed mindedness, lack of direction, misunderstandings, legal issues with career, career stagnation or restrictions and ethical dilemmas. Uh, what's Persephone? In the reverse. We have superhero here, Aquarius, courageous, resilient, strong, sense of justice, brave, driven to help others, but not at their own expense, daredevil, honorable, willing to do the right thing when others will not, brazen and safe. Then we have cancer, exploration, understanding between two between partners, dig deeper to find the truth, increase creativity, inner guidance, learn something new, deep connections and conversations, intuition, psychic, instinctual. Trust your gut. You will meet someone who will change your life. Yeah, I feel like this is you. Somebody here came to your rescue here with superhero. Somebody saved you from somebody's weird fucking ass. What's this healer in the reverse? Yeah, we have nostalgia, Leo energy, past connections, rekindling, find joy and fulfillment in work, love of children, good childhood memories, emotional healing, reconnecting with old friends and old flame. Then we have greed, Sagittarius. Don't move forward until you're ready or you're sure of decision. Something could fall through unexpectedly. Be careful with expenditures. Revise your, your approach if delays. It says greed and desperation. Somebody here is thinking about you because they need something. <clears throat> like they need something from you. But somebody's remembrance about something that they did in the past. Mm -hmm. Or somebody's greediness got their ass where they at right now. Somebody here did too much. They went overboard with something. They didn't have to. They could have took what the fuck they took, even though they was going to have to get that shit up anyway. They could have took that shit and kept moving. But somebody wanted to be greedy and do the most. Oh, well, I don't know what they did, but they asked going to go to jail, though. So, well... So this was your reading, Cancer. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.